Hello, my dear viewers. This is the adventure of Toto. In the story, The Adventure of Toto, which was written by Ruskin Bond, a very famous author for short stories, Ruskin Bond, is telling through the theme that uh, people, uh, you know, often think that uh, animals who don't have the ability to speak can do all these things which a human can do. Sometimes even humans can do, even animals can do what humans are supposed to do. They also have greater quality. So this is what is being told and portrayed through this wonderful story, Adventures of Toto. They have the qualities to understand. Sometimes they become mischievous, but they can do things like human and they can show mischief also. They can mischievous also, but then they can become naughty and little, you know, off track. But then that's all very enjoyable. That is what we are going to see in the story, Adventures of Toto. Grandfather bought Toto from a Tonga driver for the sum of rupees 5. The Tonga driver used to keep the little red monkey tied to a feeding through trough and the monkey looked so out of place that uh, there that grandfather decided he would add the little fellow to his private zoo. Grandfather actually had uh, purchased this monkey Toto from a Tonga driver. And this driver, the you know, this bargain was done rupees five, and then he's here. This Tonga driver used to be keeping this uh, uh, monkey tied to a feeding trough, and then the monkey looked so out of the place that their grandfather decided he would be keeping the monkey in his own custody in his own zoo. Toto was a pretty monkey, his bright eyes sparkled with mischief beneath deep set eyebrows. And his teeth, which were pearly white, were very often displayed in a smile. So this uh, this monkey would be smiling as well. This you can see all the physical traits visible here, uh, with the pretty word and then the word eyes sparkled and uh, eyebrows and all that, and the pearly white teeth, which were often displayed in a smile. That frightened the life of elderly Anglo-Indian ladies, but his hands looked dried up as though they had been pickled in the sun for many years. And this is the description of Toto's hands. They would be looking dried as if they've been pickled. Like, you know, you keep the pickle in sunlight for days and months and a time of fortnight and weeks. Similarly, as if the for years, this uh, monkey's hands had been dried up in the sun. That's how his uh, hands were. Yet his fingers were quick and wicked. The, the author is calling the monkey's fingers very wicked because it is through these fingers and these hands only that these, uh, this monkey would be uh, doing all these mischiefs. Grandfather was uh, and his tail while adding to his good looks. Grandfather believed a tail would add to anyone, anyone's good looks. And that's humorously said that grandfather believes that anybody who has tail is has an additional advantage to his appearance. Also served a third hand. The tail was serving a third hand. Sometimes like you see monkeys in the fictions and in stories that the monkeys tie, you know, and then they do something, certain things with his, their tails also. So that's how, that's how the author says that served as a third hand. What? The tail. He could use it to hang from a branch. It was capable of scooping up any delicacy that might be out of the reach of his, grand, uh, his hands. So he, the, anything that he would not be able to, you know, reach through his hand, he would just try to pick, pick or try to just catch or try to bring it little near through his tail, the monkey. Grandmother, always first when grandfather brought home some new bird or animal and naturally grannies or ladies generally become so fussy you are bringing the monkey you are bringing the dog now who's going to uh, take care and all that mess the dog or the monkey will create similarly here grandmother also went upset that she's not happy that a new animal is being brought in so it was decided that toto's presence should be kept a secret from her, her until she was in particularly good mood and then they thought that for some time they will be keeping the uh, the monkey hidden and then after some time when mother will be grandmother is all okay in good mood they will reveal that okay we have brought the monkey in 
grandfather and i put him always in little closet opening into my bedroom wall where he was tied securely and then here the little closet which was there in the bedroom opening th this is where they would be keeping the monkey for the time by the time it is not shown to the grandmother they are waiting that the grandmother should be in a happy mood and then they will be showing this monkey to the grandmother because grandmother is not happy keeping the monkey in the house or so we thought to a peg fastened into a wall and then there was a kind of a peg also a kind of a nail or something with which they have tied uh, this uh, monkey's uh, this uh, rope with which it was securely tied a few hours later when grandmother and i came back to release grandfather and i came back to release toto we found that the walls they thought that okay the monkey will be remaining nice okay the tying it's all okay but do you think that monkey can be tied you can keep a monkey tied no not so easy because here when they came back to release the monkey the monkey has already done wonders for them what are the wonders we'll see here the peg in the wall had been wrenched from its socket he has removed all that nail and had that peg which was there you know and my school blazer which had been hanging there was in shreds and he has just torn all those uh, all that cloth of the blazer i wondered what grandmother would say but grandfather did not worry he seemed pleased with toto's performance grandfather was happy he was a lively man so he was happy that oh the monkey had done something good he is clever grandfather said that uh, the monkey is very clever give time i am sure he could have tied the torn pieces of your blazer into a rope and he is going to make a rope out of your blazer's torn pieces this is what grandfather believed and made his escape from the window and you never know that through the rope he might run away that is where he is you know shredding uh, he has uh, tried to make rope out of the, that uh, cloth this is what grandfather is assuming his presence in the house still a secret toto was now transferred to a big cage in the servants servants quarters where a number of grandfather's pets lived very soci sociably together now he was not uh, so, uh, just fitting there in the house he was creating lot of ruckus and mischief so that is why they had kept this uh, this uh, monkey now in the servants quarter in the servants quarter they had kept and then other other uh, animals were also there they were all living happily sociably what are those animals a tortoise a pair of rabbits a tame squirrel and for a while my pet goat but the monkey would not allow any of his companions to sleep at night they are all peaceful animals the rabbit the tortoise and all that but this monkeys monkeys basically are so famous for what for the mischiefs he would not allow anybody to sleep so grandfather who had to leave dehradun next day to collect his pension in saharanpur decided to take him along so grandfather thought that if i leave this monkey with all these animals the peaceful atmosphere would be disturbed that is why it is better that i take the monkey with me grandfather had to go to saharanpur to collect his pension so for that one particular day he wanted to take that monkey along and bring him back unfortunately i could not accompany grandfather on the trip but he told me about it afterwards then grandfather is telling that what had happened when he had taken monkey to saharanpur a big black canvas kit bag was provided for toto canvas bag a part typical particular bag this with some straw at the bottom and then they placed some straw there became his new abode abode means dwelling house temporarily they have made a little arrangement for his living so that this monkey can be taken there when the bag was closed there was no escape toto could not get his hand through the opening and the canvas was too strong for him to bite so that is why they had taken little thicker bag you know canvas bag was little thicker so he could not tear it or could not bite it or chew it or could not come out of it the idea was to keep the monkey in only so that the monkey does not run or create any kind of running his efforts to get out only had the effect of making the bag roll about on the floor so it was just rolling the bag was rolling when he's trying to come out of it the monkey would not be coming out of the bag at all 